Authorities have vowed to crack down on the latest thrill-seeking trend involving Adelaide trains. Nine News has obtained exclusive vision of school children clinging to the outside of a carriage, risking death as it leaves a station. It's train station madness. Kids risking life and limb for cheap thrills. All it takes uh, is for one person to lose their footing, to slip, and they could be seriously injured uh, or even worse. As Adelaide trains leave stations, youths run, jump and cling to the side of carriages in broad daylight. Here at a station on the Outer Harbour Line, CCTV alerts the driver. He stops the train, but the group persists, jumping on time and time again. Alarmingly, one participant appears to be aged around 10. It's usually spontaneous. Uh, it's usually done uh, by younger people as uh, something which might seem to be a bit of fun. The trend called buffer riding emerged in the eastern states where teens have been hospitalised but they've also been glorified. Online videos encouraging copycats. Really worried about my grandchildren that they would see someone doing something like that and that they might think well this is a fun thing to do. Ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. Madness, they need educating. They should not be doing that you know, yeah. they're playing with their life. Adelaide Metro trains travel up to 110 kilometres an hour. Understandably, authorities hope to identify buffer riders and derail the trend before a life is lost. Anyone caught faces fines and bans from public transport. Given uh, the CCTV uh, technology we now have, uh, you'll likely be caught. We join Jared Brevy now at Woodville Station. And Jared, this is happening all over, there, all over Adelaide. Well, Brenton, there's been 60 incidents of what's been known as buffer riding in Adelaide over the past 12 months. Of course, they're the cases reported by train drivers. Many more are likely to have gone unnoticed, particularly at night time. Now, Transit Police have been alerted to this alarming trend and they'll be working to help identify offenders at known trouble spots.